Well, a very good afternoon to you. If you've just joined us, we're with you until four o'clock this afternoon. And in the studio live now, we have Ryan Neen with us, Isle of Man Road Racer. And um, it's great to have Ryan in the studio, as I say, with us. And also on Manx Radio TT Facebook page, we are live as well. Thank you for your comments that are coming in. John Keating is listening from New York. Thanks for the coverage. Best of luck to Ryan, Dan, and all the riders heading over on Thursday night. See you on Friday. Good luck with the jet lag, John. Gavin also says, ask Ryan who is his biggest road racing hero? Um, I've got a few, you know, Joey Dunlop, David Jeffries, McGuinness, you know, they're all real top riders, you know, or were, you know. Um, I remember watching them all, you know, and uh, probably reason why I wanted to do it, you know. I had a lap on the back of McGuinness actually in 05, on the back of an R6, forward from road and track, and we went for a lap, and it was, uh, yeah, he probably remembers. We nearly flipped it at Ren Cullen, <laughs> and uh, no, it was mega, yeah, it was good. If you needed to go to somebody for advice about what you're doing out there, well, who would you turn to? Um, as a newcomer, obviously, you know, you got Milky Quail, you know, showing boys around. Um, yeah, that's who you go to, you know, because he knows where he's going and stuff, and he's got a lot of experience, so, yeah. Now, you've just come up on uh, a little bike and uh, zoomed into the studio on it, and Matt says, how much for the wisp that's outside? Just tell me a little bit about your uh, motor that's outside here. Well, I, f I found it. <laughs> found it, um, yeah, found it in a, an attic in the garage, in my dad's garage he was renting, and then, um, yeah, it wasn't going, and bought a new carburetor for it. <laughs> and, uh, 1965 it is, and it's mint. I've used it for years. It's yeah. absolutely fantastic, isn't it? How much would that be worth, do you reckon? That's priceless, that. <laughs> You're going to keep it, are you? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Bob's been in touch and enjoying, and Katie, your girlfriend, is enjoying watching you live on Manx Radio TT Facebook page and seeing those dimples. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think I was going to read that one out, do you? No. Keep those comments coming in. We will try and get them to uh, Ryan before we go to the next track. Um, Ryan, let's talk about last year then and how TT went for you. <laughs> well, yeah, it didn't go too great, you know. Um, just, I don't know, I had problems with the bike um, and I got the flu at the middle of practice week and it just ruined it for me. You know, I couldn't even do the first superbike race I was at knackered you know i just stayed in bed um it was a bit of a nightmare but no it's, it is going better this year you know i feel feel good on the bike and um just got a few issues to sort out but nothing major so uh yeah i'm but looking forward what is that like when you've spent all year preparing and getting ready for your favorite road race the isle of man tt you get flu and you, you can't compete well how do you deal with that well i've always thought like oh what if i get you know, what if I get flu in TT week? What would it be a nightmare? You know, and I end up getting it. And uh, yeah, it's just you can't ride the bike properly or nothing. You know, you can't concentrate. Um, you think you're going really fast, but you're just not. It's just just wrecks it for you, really. So bit of man flu. Yeah, it was proper man flu, that. <laughs> Look, 2017 really was a tough year for you because you were going really well at the beginning of the year and some would describe that you were actually on fire and uh, you then had an accident in July, the 2nd of July. What happened? Um, yeah, it's my brother's fault, I blame him. Now, we were going to go out tracking and uh, Dan said, oh, we're going to do the beat trace at Ramsey. So I was like, yeah, right. And um, yeah, first lap, hit a hit jump hit me sideways and uh, the bike just hit my leg unfortunately and uh, yeah broke broke me uh, me tib so got nine screws and a plate still in there and um, but you know it doesn't really bother me on the bike now so it's it's all good really. You still blame Dan to this day do you? Yeah it's all his fault. <laughs> you were due to compete in the classic TT but you actually had to watch as a spectator what was that like? Yeah it was um, it was more like letting down Rob, my sponsor, you know, he's got this real trick 250 and uh, couldn't ride it, you know, it was really annoying. I was trying to even do the parade lap on it, but I couldn't bend my leg enough to get it on the foot peg. So, uh, yeah, it was uh, just a nightmare sitting are we there. Gonna see you on this, are we going to see you on it this year? Yeah, hopefully, yeah. On the same bike I raced at the pre-TT last week there. So. So what have you been doing during the year to recover? Because you just said before the break that you're feeling really fit, you're feeling really ready. So what have you been doing to keep fit? Well, I try and do as much as I can with my leg. But then, you know, we get to a point where it's too much and it's really sore. So you, you do a bit and then it's sore and then you've you got to rest it. And it's just 
I've been con- like control how much I can do with my leg, you know. Um, but no, I feel mega on the bike and my hands on sore, not don't get arm pump, you know. I still do the off roading as well on the same bike I crashed, but um, yeah, feel really good. Did I see you were in Anglesey as well recently? Yeah, just went over there to get the signatures. You know, it's mega track over there, and uh, we had this weather there as well, so it was. It was really good, yeah. So let's talk about practice then and how it's been going. You did 122 last night? Yeah, pretty much. It was stand and start. Um, just having a few issues with the bike, uh, but trying to solve them for tonight. And uh, yeah. What type of issues have you had? Um, just high speed wobbling. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not ideal, but um, throttle, go, throttle goes both ways. So, you know, it's, I can handle it. So uh, try and sort it out tonight and go quicker. As we said before the break, you're doing everything on your own. It is quite incredible. What are you thinking about when you put the bike away, you're in the van and you're on your way home? Um, time for pizza. Um, <laughs> nah, I just, just want to get home and get my feet up, to be honest, you know, and, uh, and sort of get out of the paddock and chill properly. So, How do you chill? Uh, don't know, really. Just watch bikes. <laughs> yeah, just, just watch some bikes on YouTube or something. Um, that's it really, yeah. We've got more comments coming in. So uh, Mark Cardwell says, best of luck, Ryan. Trevor from Cornwall says, all the very best of luck. Shane says, best of luck. How much knowledge are you able to glean from your brother and his entourage? I had a feeling that might come up. Um, I don't know really. I just um, asked them a few things, you know, if the bike's doing something that shouldn't be, you know, they'll, they'll help us out a bit, but you know, um, Ever asked yeah. them for any parts? Yeah, they're giving me a free superbike motor for the uh, superbike race, so that should be good. <laughs> <laughs> Jane says, I hear you ride with a lucky mascot Where you <laughs> when you're riding. Uh, where do you put it? I don't even know if I should ask that, actually. <laughs> uh, I, well, I used to have a, a gold-plated Joey Dunlop 50p. I used to stick it in, in my uh, cheek pad and my helmet, but... Um, yeah, I've got to do that this year, to be honest. I might, might stick it back in. There you go, a lucky mascot. Grant says, all the best from San Diego in California. Okay, so let's look ahead then before we go to a track. Let's just look ahead um, at the next few nights with practice. What's the main aim? Um, just to go quicker, you know, and get the bike handling. Um, that's it, really. You know, every lap I feel getting back into it. And, um, yeah, I'm confident that I can do you know, 125 or whatever by the end of the week. Um, you know, yeah, should be good. What race are you most looking forward to next week? Um, super stock race. You know, the bike's a super stock bike. So in the super bike race, you, I don't know, it's not like you're wasting your time, but you, it's a bit of practice, I suppose, for the super stock race. And it's only a four lapper as well. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. And if you could uh, have a choice between pole position or lap time, what would it be? Lap time. Yeah, got to be a lap time. Ryan, thank you so much for joining us in the studio. It's been great to catch up with you. And also, as a Manxy, of course, you've got our full support as well. All the very best of luck. Take care out there. Have a good practice this evening. Thank you for your company. Now playing for you, Florence the Machine with Hunger.